Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you game two in a series between Poker Off Kaz and Mouse Hasu here in the Delta Quadrant. Poker Off Kaz spawned at the what five o'clock position as the yellow Terran player. Meanwhile, Mouse Hasu spawned here as the red Protoss player at the two o'clock position. Once again, Terran versus Protoss here in the Delta Quadrant should be an interesting matchup. Now we do see we'll most likely see a ten pile or oh, sorry, excuse me, a nine pylon coming in from Mouse Hasu. Meanwhile, a Poker Off Kaz most will most likely throw down a ten supply depot and get this game underway. Delta Quadrant does have four spawning locations, and pretty much any spawning location is pretty pretty much the same distance between each other, except for when flying units are involved, or perhaps when Reapers and Cliff Walking units are involved. So Poker Off Kaz will be able to use Reapers and perhaps try to um, Reaper this ledge if Kaz tries to expand onto this low ground expansion over here with these destructible rocks. In this particular instance, Ka um, in this particular instance, Hasu would be better expanding over here at the natural expansion which is even though al although it is a little bit more exposed because it is close to the main entrance of its base will be able to defend it much more easily however Kaz getting lucky in this spawn will be able to perhaps get into this location expand here and this and this expansion is further away than his opponent's base so it will take much longer for any colossi to perhaps try to walk into this location or any drop ships warp prisms trying to get into this location as well we do see that hasu now walking around on the inside of this base will be able to quickly come across poker off poker off kaz's base in just a moment will the supply depot be laid down in time is the critical question it does not look like it as a scv now moving out will not and will not put on a supply depot there so Hasu will be able to get inside this base and now begin scouting now harassing this one SCV SCV taking five points of damage and now apparently this probe does not like this barracks trying to take it down with that fusion cutter or sorry that particle beam that particle beam will not deal enough damage to that barracks as these units now move out and about we do have a refinery already up and now upgrading to an orbital command and a supply depot being placed down at just the right moment and as that supply depot is there, this probe will now be stuck in the base and will not be able to escape the the what the sights of that Gauss rifle and that marine. We should see an orbital command now calling down mules and trying to train up more and more SCVs in just a moment. However, Kaz um, ignoring his macro for just a little bit. One probe there. Now a second marine joining in on this fight, and down goes that probe. Marine. SCV now was able to wander around, able to get some sight into the base, does not see the second assimilator, and now we have a cybernetics core being built in the back of the base over here. Most likely Hasu, I'm um, sorry, um, yeah, most likely Poker Off Kaz does know about this cybernetics core just because he did see this assimilator. No reason for a Protoss player to go for an assimilator unless he's going to build that cybernetics core. Now we do see a pylon being warped in here. Um, it may be interesting to note if we see any sort of void rays. Void rays may be trained up at a stargate here, and then the flying distance between these two locations is very small. However, Pokerov Cast could use Reapers and now try to deal damage and then take down this pylon. However, I do not think that's going to be a possibility, or I don't think that's going to happen. It's a possibility, of course. But I have not seen much Reaper play ever since the 1.1 patch. We do see a stargate now coming in from Hasu. And Hasu now will be able to train up with that Void Ray. Most likely this Void Ray will abuse the destructible debris here. So the Void, will, void Ray will move out, try to fully charge up on these rocks, and then push out. However, we do see a Starport now being laid down. And that Starport, if it's able to train up a double... A double Vikings will be able to shoot down any sort of void ray play very easily. One factory and going to completely miss the sight of this one Stargate and po proxy po or this pylon over here for um, a semi proxy Stargate. We do see a stalker and a sentry trying to hold off the front door. And if you look into the main base, Hasu, you do see a two gate. Additional gateways maybe maybe need to be warped in otherwise poker off Kaz will suspect that there are going to be either a hidden robotics facility or more likely a hidden stargate in this particular instance void ray now being chrono boosted this stargate will be able to train up this what void ray in about 50 units of time the stargate will be out in just a moment unless another chrono boost happens however currently supply lock will not be able to train up another void ray just quite yet now we do see that one factory taking some damage and we now see another gateway being placed down over here by hasu so now one void ray is in fact out a second void ray now being chrono boosted will uh, will it continue to be chrono boosted is the is the question and will these void rays be, really be able to fully charge off of these rocks 
bucks and then perhaps push in here i do we do see the stim pack currently being researched over here so these marines with stim will be able to deal a, a significant amount of damage and now we also have a medevac so that medevac will be able to heal up these units very well stalker zealots now moving out so the key question is will that void ray be able to fully charge will these stalkers and sentries be able to split up these marines if he's able to split up the marines that will be very significant however now a missile turret being placed down by Kaz. so Kaz most likely suspecting that there is void ray played currently does not see those void rays however these void rays are now going to be fully charged able to deal 50 almost 50 damage a second as it now moves out trying to fully charge and now take down this supply depot so the supply depot is going to get shot down there we do see a guardian shield zealots who are running on their way in not quite sure why they're charging into that location and now the, the whole entire front door has been taken down now going to go after this one missile turret there trying to get within fully charge and now very nicely done this one void ray however shot down being micro glass cannon marines now able to just shoot down that one building here and now an SCV repairing this missile turret once again and Hasu even though he was trying to push with a very very aggressive tactic we see that poker off Kaz with marines medevacs a missile turret and now a raven able to barely push this attack back another pylon now being warped in here a void ray now I'm trying to get fully charged we i do not see any warp gate research the warp gates are already up so we should probably see some reinforcements coming in in just a moment trying to fully charge off of those pylons no, why are you trying to fully charge on a pylon there and now in comes that auto turret so that auto turret is going to be a very easy target in comes that missile turret however the missile turret quickly getting taken down here void ray trying to stay fully charged going after some of those scvs now and now an another auto turret just dropping down dealing as much damage zealots however getting shot down by those marines and that void ray being pulled back once again this void ray trying Trying to stay fully charged but unable to these glass cannons very very micro intensive here as now once again trying to try to charge up on these destructible rocks we do see some zealots now being warped in here onto that high ground we have another missile turret in position and that missile turret will get shot down very quickly there we go and now trying to push out even further two void rays continuing to push more and more marines using that stim trying to combat here but however another void ray getting shot down out of the sky by mass marines so these mass marines now trying to chase that void ray void ray down to 13 hit points able to take down that medevac and now continue to push zealots now pushing out once again bunker down to 70 down it goes and but no more zealots need to be trained however marines able to shoot another void ray out of the sky and now hasu with um with that marine and medevac army able to deal a lot of damage and now it looks as though hasu ha or hasu has failed with this attack we do see some more stalkers now being warped in and we also see another void ray being trained as well these stalkers trying to come in trying to deal more damage perhaps trying to take down this raven however that raven is very low on hit points uh, but far enough away marines now being positioned here these auto turrets have a range of six as well so a, one additional range compared to a marine and this auto turret able to able to deal at least enough damage or try to fend off this attack at eight damage and attack instead of six damage and attack more zealots now being warped in over here so zealots and void rays trying to be pushed out one factory over here and now we most likely will have another void ray trying to fully charge with that prismatic core once again no weapons upgrade and we should probably see another void ray trying to be um, chrono boosted out however marines and marauders now giving chase to these zealots void rays now charging up over here will it be enough no these marines and marauders are going to be able to get some free kills here as the zealot will get taken down one void ray trying to give chase perhaps trying to take down some any of these units those zealots with sorry those marines with that very very fast moving attack speed able to escape that fight there and now once again the void ray trying to pull back one medevac taking some damage there marines taking some damage as well as that void ray needs to stay charged really abusing these rocks on that low ground so with these void rays void rays now going to go ahead and push try to take down this missile turret missile turret and not take yet taken down however the void ray taking so much damage and now getting focus fired once again by mass marines this void ray however no longer fully charged needs to pull back the damage really greatly reduced on that void ray void ray no longer dealing 25 damage only dealing five damage per attack they are now marines and marauders continuing to just snipe void rays out of the sky and hasu definitely in trouble hasu trying to abuse those void rays and these destructible rocks but was unable to as these marines and now marauders giving chase we do see a force field and a really well placed force field there stopping any sort of attack however these marines and marauders may just be able to elevate or drop into position which would be absolutely critical these sentries need to drop another force field there we go however there are only two sentries left more sentries now being worked in along with three stalkers as well that factory should get taken down we do see one medevac here and that medevac now going to drop into this position i don't understand why they just didn't drop right up here onto that high ground 
And that way they wouldn't even be exposed and trying to take down these Stargates. Oh, uh, excuse me, I felt like I had a sneeze. So anyways, Hasu now going to lose this Stargate and also lost this pylon over here. We do see Marines, no, sorry, the Stalkers going to engage these Marines and Marauders here. Another a missile turret trying to be um, built into that position. Not quite sure what that's about. As this medevac leaving that poor SCV, poor Steve, abandoned by his friends. Those Marines and those Marauders leaving them to die. And now we're going to have a drop into the main mineral line as these medevacs trying to put pressure on that front door. So a drop in the front, of, in the back of the base as these Marines and Marauders will be able to drop into the front of the base in just a moment. So Hasu now is going to be forced to fight a, a war on two fronts. Marines down over here. Medivacs just going to continue to be masked up here. And now Poker Off Kaz being very smart. Dropping off all the units before um, and then stimming. And now going to go ahead and engage now here. So Hasu now definitely in trouble. A lot of energy on this Nexus as these Marines and Marauders trying to clear out this expansion and perhaps try to take down this Nexus. Once this Nexus gets taken down, Hasu really needs to engage Marauders and Marines fighting probes coming into the mineral line as well. A Guardian Shield being activated, reducing the damage from these Marines from 6 to 4 as these Marauders continue to fight. Will they be able to finish off this army? I do, and I believe that Hasu will be able to get a little bit of an advantage here, but he did lose a lot of his probes. So those probes were taken down. However, he does still, he still is in this game, but ever so barely. And now he's going to try to counter with Dark Templars. So Hasu doing a tech switch to Dark Templars. Dark Templar is not even engaging against that army that's currently walking into his base. Not sure what's going on there as that Dark Templar dealing 45 damage per attack. The Marines do not have, um, do not have a medevac to heal them. So they are all getting taken down by that Dark Templar. However, this Nexus will get taken down. Dark Templar now moving out over here. Going to try to take down an SCV. Yeah, taking down that SCV. Now going after this Missile Turret. Missile Turret will get completed. Will get completed. Not quite sure. It will. It is completed. However, now massively repaired by multiple SCVs. We do see one probe over here. And that Dark Templar has been and now just running around. And Hasu losing his main base here. Marines finishing off trying to finish the job but one dark templar with 22 one kills able to finish off this whole entire attack force dark templar now making its way into the base perhaps to try to get more and more kills however exposing himself to this missile turret and hasu says gg so hasu being very very aggressive in this opening play using a stargate and then trying to abuse these destructible rocks over here. These destructible rocks were eventually taken down, most likely by Kaz. I don't know if I saw that. In order to make sure that Hasu was unable to continue to produce more and more Void Rays. And just try to pressure with that 25 damage per attack Void Ray when it is fully charged. However, Kaz responding very nicely, placing down a Missile Turret getting marines with stim and then getting one meta medevac able to constantly get underneath that void ray and shoot it out of the sky like i've said before void rays are essentially glass cannons they are a very fragile unit but when you get that shot off and and they're fully charged if you are if and you micro them well you can take out an entire army even though hasu did do a good job of con trying to contain and keep up that fully charged prismatic core he was exposing himself to those marines a little bit too much and then at the very end of the game, a, a very nice drop at the front and the back of the base enabled him to take, or sorry, enabled Kaz to take down Hasu's main base. Even though Kaz was able to get that Dark Shrine up, with that Dark Shrine up in play, he was able to warp in three Dark Templars, but still, that would be not enough to finish the game. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed this 1v1 replay between Poker Off Kaz and Mouse Hasu here in the Delta Quadrant.